I have 20 minutes, 20 minutes to make it. Good morning internet, it is 6.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome here on, now I forgot the name again, Nargana. I think it's called one of the many islands of the Kunas people. Small little island just uh, off the coast of Panama. And today, hopefully, it's going to be the last day of the whole journey to cross the Darien Gap. And um, hopefully today I'll make it to Puerto Carti. This is where uh, Alaska spent the night. It was pouring with rain this morning. Um, all my stuff was in my room, so that's fine. I just uh, put it all back. And, uh, you can see again, same like uh, yesterday. On land it's all raining, over the mountains in the jungle, and then the sea is uh, dry. Although actually, I think it's also raining over there. Uh, well, we'll see. Actually, before we leave this island, uh, we're just going to try and buy two liters of petrol for Alaska, because I thought I could fill up again in Puerto Cati. Of course, I tried to keep my tank as empty as possible, to keep the weight down and low, um, but, um, it actually turns out that in Kati there isn't really petrol. They're only selling for boats, really. Um, so, but they say that uh, in, in this island I can get some. So I'll just chuck like two liters in. That should be enough to make it to the first petrol station on the mainland. And uh, yeah, then it should all be fine. So I should not forget that. See everywhere they use like these little houses on stilts. Those are the toilets. I figured out those ones. So actually where we were staying last night was on this island but there's another small island there and they've connected it with this uh, walking bridge it's really quite cool But um, over there is uh, Puerto Cartier on the other side, so we're almost there. Maybe we have to do some, uh, I think, some police check or something, maybe here. We're getting uh, some petrol for uh, Alaska here on this island. They don't have the right uh, fuel for me here either, but he's saying that um, they'll have some fuel at the police, so we'll go there now. But we almost, we're almost there. Uh, the party is just uh, on the other side here. This is just the island uh, opposite it. So, uh, almost there.
que tiene ese espacio. Gracias. Vamos a desayunar. Desayunar. Ok. No hay problema que la momento. Vamos a moverla. Enfrente. Al frente, sí. Buenos días. Llega a una bomba de gasolina, le manda el chagua. Sí, sí, sí. Por el sol. Sí. Chao muchachos. Adiós. How do I get out of here? Right. Can I just try it out? I don't know. Puede pasar? Buenas. ¿Dónde te vienes? De Colombia. ¿Pagaste allá el impuesto no? No. No. El impuesto un dólar. No, dos dólares. Pero pagar a usted. Sí, sí. ¿A qué hora tú sales allá en el en Puerto Valdía, en Colombia? Sí, Capucana. Capucana. Sí. ¿Dónde va a regresar? ¿Panamá? No, eh, necesito ir a Colón. Ah, Primero, sí. porque la aduana en Ovaldía no, no era sistema. Ah. Entonces, para aduana, para mi moto, tengo que ir a Colón. Ah. Y después, Panamá. <risa> Chao. All right, had to pay uh, two dollars tax for whatever uh, purpose. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I'm now going to ride to uh, Cologne, which is 170 kilometers. That will take me a while. And I'm going to try to sort out the customs for Alaska, buy an insurance for Alaska. And then I want to go to Panama City today still, if possible, because Cologne is another port town and well, let's say it's not uh, the highlight of Panama, so I'd rather not stay there. But yeah, it will all depend a little bit on uh, how fast I'll reach there and I don't know how fast it's going to go with customs. If it's going to be super smooth, maybe, or maybe it's going to take hours, I, I don't know. But uh, we will find out. But, oh, <laughs> what a journey. <laughs> What a journey, but uh, uh, those guys were, were gold, really. Um, Alberto, who was the, the captain, he is the uncle of Juan Carlo, who helped me to get to Capragana. And uh, the other two were brothers, and they were just really solid guys. I felt super safe with them. And uh, it was just, I think, a really good crossing. and. This morning the sea was a lot rougher, so I'm super glad we only had to do a, a small bit, like an hour, there was an hour left this morning, and that the majority of the journey was already done. I think I got very lucky with uh, a small kind of window in which uh, it wasn't too bad, because I explained before, in this time of the year, it's just not a good time to, to cross, because the, re the seas get very rough. So you have to be at the right moment. It all depends also on the on the moon. So they said, what did they say? Every full moon and every new moon, it changes from rough to calmer or the other way around. And so that also makes a huge difference. So it was very rough a week ago, I think. And uh, now I just I think I got really quite lucky. It was still rough, but hey, it could have been much worse. Anyway, oh, I am in Panama. Yes, Panama, Panama. Paying in US dollars again. That's the currency here in Panama.
just need to really get uh, Alaska washed today as well. Maybe I can uh, do that in Cologne. Because she got another uh, full spray of uh, seawater yesterday and today. So I need to get rid of all the salt. But uh, I'm sure I'll find a place. Jungle, jungle. I am in Cologne and the customs is supposed to be somewhere here. This rather dodgy area actually. Shout when you see it. Ah yes, Fransfield, that's that's what they said. Fransfield. Zona Libre, it's a duty free uh, duty free zone. Which makes sense. Buenas, uh, busco la aduana. Aduana? Aduana. Sí, aduana. aduana. ¿Habla español? Sí. ¿Por qué país eres? ¿Así o.? Ok, gracias. Sí. ¿Por qué país eres? Soy de Holanda. ¿Ah? Holanda. Holanda. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I encountered not the most friendly customs person, <clears throat> let me put it that way. <laughs> First they let me wait a really long time and then uh, the custom officer was like, yeah, you need to get three copies of your passport, three copies of your bike papers, three copies of... Um, that paper that the custom guy in uh, Obaldia gave me. So I'm standing there and while the custom officer is saying that, I mean, there is a massive copying machine standing there in the office. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we do the copies. No, you have to go away and sort out your own copies. <laughs> but what they didn't know is that in the meantime, because they let me wait so long, in the meantime, I already made a friend while waiting in line and I told him about the copies. He's like, I know someone. So he just took me to a small office where they sorted out the copies for me. So that's really nice. But I'm still not there because um, I also first need to buy my insurance and then they will do the import. So now I have to uh, ride into town, find an insurance and then come back and she says and we close at 3.30 Hola Mi importación temporal necesito comprar un seguranza primero entonces voy a comprar seguranza y tengo que volver otra vez Para mi importación temporal la aduana quiere que compre un Compro un cigarón, entonces voy a hacerlo y vuelvo. Es 
so um, yeah I have uh, an hour and a half to find an insurance and come back here please Looks like I'm getting an escort now. It's just coincidence. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it happen. Before 3.30 I'm back there. Seguros. Seguros Fetpa. This is where I should be able to get an insurance. Uh. Okay, that took really long. They were very nice, but the system was down and the computer didn't work and it was like all of that stuff. I have 20 minutes, 20 minutes to make it to Aduana, to customs before they close. And it's about a 10 minute ride. So if traffic is not gonna be too terrible, I should just be able to make it. I just really don't wanna stay the night here. I just rather not stay the night in this town. It's it's not the best place. Not the best place. Gonna stay. Try to stay with these uh, police guys or whatever they are. Ah, they slipped through. traffic everywhere I have four minutes oh you should have seen the look on their faces they could not believe it when I stepped back inside five minutes before closing. They just did not uh, expect me to pull it off in time. <laughs> but then they haven't met me yet. I was up for the challenge. Oh, I'm so glad it's done. So now I have the insurance, I have the temporary import permit. So now my mission is to get as quickly as I can out of this place because it's it's not nice um, getting out of Cologne and we're now going to ride to Panama City <laughs> oh, yeah. huh? oh, yeah. no no todo listo ahora me voy si sí, gracias <laughs> no no voy a Panama Ciudad ah Panama si sí, si sí. mucho cuidado gracias sí. El tráfico. A veces llueve. Ah, llueve, sí. Sí, está bien. No hay problema. Gracias. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm now going to ride to Panama City, which is all the way on the other coast of Panama. So, Panama is so narrow at this point. It's only, yeah, about 70 kilometers. And that's the whole width of the country. So, you can ride from coast to coast in an hour, which is pretty cool. But um, Panama City is definitely better to stay than uh, in, in, over here. It's super busy to get out of here. I had to fight my way in. 
rushing. There's like thousands of trucks. This is all the duty-free zone and port and stuff and oh yeah you don't want to be caught here. Hola! No, tenía que hacer mi importación temporal para mi moto en aduanas y ahora listo. No compré nada. Estaba, estaba allí con aduana. Nada. Oh, yo pensé que. Gracias. Oh, okay, that was uh, confusing. I thought I wasn't allowed to leave, and he's like, "What do you want from me?" <laughs> anyway, I just want to leave. That's all I want. I have followed the main highway across the country wasn't uh, too interesting and now I have reached uh, Panama City So this is my <laughs> little room, very cute. Uh, I'm just happy I found a place to stay for tonight. I can't believe I did it. Another border crossing. This was the longest border crossing ever. It took me three full days to properly cross this border. I'll show you actually on the map uh, what I did. So this is my new map of um, Central America uh, and a little bit of uh, Mexico is also indicated but this is all of Central America and basically I started the whole border crossing in Turbo which is somewhere here in Colombia. This is Colombia and then I had to ride to Neco Cli which is somewhere here. Then I crossed with the first little boat, the most nerve-wracking one, to Capugana over here just just at the border with Panama and then with the other boat we crossed to the other side then here I did immigration and then they couldn't do customs and then we went like this and then we stayed the night I don't know on an island somewhere here I think and then this morning we continued to Puerto Carti which is over here then I had to ride this road I had to go all the way here to Cologne, to the other side, <laughs> to finish the customs, get my insurance, and then I rode back and now I am here in Panama City. So yeah, that was just one border crossing. <laughs> Man, I am really, really tired. So I'm gonna end this video now. I am finished, finished, completely shattered. That was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.